a pleasant day STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So this is now the start of our quarter three, week number one. And for this video lesson, we will talk about random variables. So you should be able to illustrate a random variable and to distinguish between a discrete and a continuous random variable. So what is a random variable? A random variable is just like in algebra. So it is also represented by a certain letter. And usually, we use a capital letter to represent the random variable. But this time, the variable is associated with possible outcomes. Okay, so whenever we associate a variable to the possible outcomes, which is a probability based from a certain statistical experiment or a random phenomenon, then that forms a random variable. So don't get confused with the conditional probability that you have discussed during your grade 10 because a random variable is different from what you have discussed during your junior high school statistics and probability. So there are two types of random variables. The first one is what we call the discrete random variable. Secondly, we have the continuous random variable. So for the discrete random variable, it is a variable that can take only a finite number of distinct values. And usually we can easily recognize it because discrete variables are also what we know as count data, meaning you can easily count them. So how do you count one, two, three, four, and so on? Let's have examples. So the number of students in a classroom could be counted. The number of storms per year in the Philippines, price of pen, and so on. So notice that for discrete random variables, they are full numbers. What about for a continuous random variables? So a continuous variable is a variable which takes an infinite number of possible values on a continuous scale. You can also easily recognize it because it is a measured data. Look at these examples. The length of time it takes to go from Pampanga to Manila via bus. So depending on your location, you may um, have um, a length of time maybe in decimal form, like 3.5 hours and so on. The weight of an infant. So since this is a measured data, then this can also be expressed in either decimal or um, fraction. Like say, for example, 8.5 kilograms. So that is a measured data. The height of a grade six pupil can also be um, described you know, as a measured data. And usually we can also express it in decimal, like say for example, 5.6 inches. Okay, so notice that if the discrete is our whole numbers, then continuous random variables are considered fractions or decimals as well. So let's have a short activity for the discrete versus a continuous. So given certain variables, let us determine whether they are discrete or continuous. First one, the strength of an earthquake recorded by Fieldbox. Very good. The correct answer is continuous because sometimes we can record like magnitude 5.1, 6.4, and so on. So that is continuous. And we know that the magnitude 
or the strength of an earthquake could be expressed as a measured theta. Number two, the number of family members. The correct answer is discrete. So notice that when we um, count family members, there's no such thing as there are 4.5 members in our family. So we cannot say that, no? that we have a decimal number of family. Instead, we say there are five in our family. In this case, counting the number of members in the family, there are seven in this figure. So that is discrete. Number three, the speed of a bicycle during a race. Is this a count data or a measured data? Very good. The answer is continuous because this speed could be a um, measured data, which could also be expressed in decimal or in fraction. Number four, the number of enrolled grade 11 students in a school. So did you miss this picture? Do you miss this school already? So how do we represent students in a school? Very good. The correct answer is discrete because there's no such thing as a 11.5 student. So there is no student which is fractional in form. So that is a whole number which is discrete. Number five, the blood pressure of a senior citizen. Is it a count data or measured data? Very good. The answer is continuous. Number five, the number of guards in a mall. So again, very good. Obviously, the answer is discrete. So we are now done with the concept of random variables. This time, we will have week, still in week number one, the concept of probability distribution on the next video lesson. This is again Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. Happy learning!